So now in this video, we're going to take a, a quick review of the uh, last circuit that I made. So we have a 4053 right here, CD4053, and it uh, has three multiplexers in it. We're only using one, depending on whether this is high or low, as long as we have our inhibit pin low so that it doesn't do anything. The uh, output of our one of our multiplexers there. It's also a D multiplexer if you want to use it uh, that way. Is being controlled by this switch there. It is not being controlled by that switch at all. So when we got it low, it's coming to our lower switch right there. And um, we can turn the LED on or off as we want. So um, this is not a mechanical switch within the circuit, even though I drew a schematic like that. It's using transistors to simulate that. So it's not conducting as well. As a mechanical switch would it's got some resistance um, but it's uh, simulating that so now if I move the jumper to the uh, positive and again this is just uh, review for the last video now we have this one so we're basically sending a digital message on off right here high low one zeros however you want to uh, think about that a lot of uh, the circuits that I do the output just goes high or low there's like no middle ground right there but uh, we're going to pull the switch there hopefully you can see and replace it with a trim pot so there is a resistive element there that goes from the top pin to that bottom pin we're not going to use the bottom pin but there's a wiper that slides across there and uh, so it actually goes this way now we will have the closest point between uh, that spot and the wiper there'll be about no resistance um, pretty pretty close it's not a perfect conductor uh, but pretty close and then we're going to go next that's a little close there you can see the LED is uh, kind of bright I got the lamp dimmed to the uh, lowest uh, setting and uh, so that we could see the light so this does not have to be a digital signal for this particular integrated circuit and I didn't want to draw another schematic symbol all it would have been is a variable resistor in this spot right there instead of a switch um, that's what we got you can see that there and uh, so now I'm going to add resistance you can see that uh, the LED gets dimmer so um, if you have it where it can get dimmer then that's an analog uh, signal basically and uh, so you could transmit analog signals through there just realize that there's a little more resistance than what a, a mechanical switch would have and uh, now we'll just demonstrate uh, a digital signal all I can do is either give it high or low on or off and uh, you could transmit uh, signals that way so in any case uh, that's it for this video short one hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out all the links down below they all help a lot I got uh, this particular CD uh, 4053 from a uh, semiconductor kit that I'll try to post um, but I put a link down below to my Amazon page where I show uh, quite a bit of the stuff that I use in my videos and other stuff that I think looks good but I can't afford or don't have space uh, for so please check that out see you in the next video